What up, everybody? It's your girl July from Kickback Couture. If you missed my last video on chopping samples and reason, you should definitely go check that out. But until then, let's get it. All right, so I got a sample going. I loaded it up into the Kong device. Kind of bring down the release here. Nicely chopped. Now I'm going to program that, but before I do that, I want to add some drums really quick. So one of my favorite presets is uh, in the drum sequencer actually. All right, let's navigate to this drum sequencer combi patches. Up tempo. And we're gonna grab breakbeat four. Awesome. And we'll just hit play. So nice hip hop pattern there. We could start off with just to get the juices flowing. And now what I'm gonna do is drag in the drum sequencer player. Now, using the drum sequencer player, I could just start programming my chops. Let's see what we get. All right, let's go ahead and automate these patterns here so we can make longer patterns. Just gonna right click, edit automation, and just like I did with these ones up here, we're gonna do that with this. So let's change this to A1, and then here we'll go to A2. We'll zoom in a little bit so we can see what's going on. There we go. All right, we'll grab the pen tool. We're gonna start with A1, then we'll go to A2, all the way through eight. So we can have longer sample patterns here. And yes, you can program this in the sequencer like a normal person, or you can play it, but you know, you might get some cool variations by clicking. There's always different ways to do things just to spark some creativity. So if you seem to be in a jam, you can't get things out, throw on a drum loop, chop up a sample, you know, 16 chops straight down, like, you know, we always do. And then add a drum sequencer, click some things in, tell something sounds good. Then you'll be off to the races. All right, let's go. And you see the pattern changed, so we need to fill those out. What we can do is loop around these two sections so that we don't move too far away from the original. So for here, let's go back, maybe go up here. And we could play these to see what's next. Keep in mind, we only have access to the first eight pads here. All right, cool. So basically I would take this first pattern here. We're gonna copy it, pressing the C and paste that on number three. And we'll take the second pattern and paste it on four and then we'll change up four a little bit. So maybe we'll end it different. And let's move the loop point around here. So we'll have a change uh, around every multiple of two. So after the second one, there's a switch up. And after the fourth one, there's a switch up. Then after the eighth, we'll do another switch up. So let's hear it so far. Mm -hmm. 
So actually, for two, I like this one on three, and we'll switch this for four. Let's make sure I did that right. Two, four, cool. And let's go down a little bit, maybe layer some. All right, cool. Now let's say we want to use all 16 drum pads. Let's do it. I'm gonna drag another player on. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. Let's place this up at the top. Now you see these are programmed to C1 through G1. So we're gonna program this starting from G sharp. Let's hit this learn button here for this one. Then for this one, we're going to start from G sharp, right? Yep, G sharp. And then for the next one, we're going to start at A. Now we're just going to go up. All right. So check this out. We also need to create patterns for this one. So right click. Right click here, edit automation, and essentially we'll take these and copy these up so that they switch the same. Take learn off. So here we want something different. All right, let's do that. Alright, so honestly, that sums up what I wanted to show you. Just a dope idea to get some creativity going in the Reason Rack with the Kong drum designer sample style, you know? And if you just can't get the chops right, you can use the drum sequencer. And you can also play with those repeats and the probability and the velocity and all of those things. You can even play with the slide over here. So, for example, you could add some swing to the sample chops, and you can also mess with the speed and, you know, shuffle. Just keep an open mind is what I'm trying to say, all right? It's all culture, kick back, and cook up. I got to do the smile, right? Okay, here we go. We got it. We good. We good.